everybody, it's Redhead Boo here, back with a new video. So it's Friday, which means it's my upload day. And you may notice from my t-shirt that today's video is going to be a long-awaited video that I have been planning for weeks now. Um, I was meant to do it a few weeks ago, but I just, I don't know, I just didn't do it. Um, and it's my Harry Potter t-shirt that says Dobby has no master, Dobby is a free elf because recently, well not really recently but like a few weeks ago me and two of my friends Chloe and Rebecca went to London and we went to the Harry Potter studio tour for the Festival of the Dark Arts or the Dark Arts Festival, can't remember the name of it um, which was absolutely incredible and I thought to myself I'd love to do like a review on of my visit there um, and if you've seen my channel before you may know that when I do reviews I tend to do them in the format of a Q&A so I thought what better way to do a review than do it this way so yeah, I have 15 questions to get through, so I'm not quite sure how long this video will be, but yeah, I just had the best time. I already want to go back, like it was such a cool event and yeah, I, I loved it for so many different reasons. So question number one, what was your favourite set to see in person? Um, well before I start I just want to say I have been to the studios before but the last time previously was in 2015 so there were a lot more new things to see and yeah so but my favourite set I'm gonna say Gringotts that blew me away like I knew it was gonna be good I just knew it. but I thought that the forest was going to be my favourite don't get me wrong I loved the forest I loved everything about it the imagineering the floor which made you actually feel like you were outside even though you weren't it was so weird but my god it was incredible but for me Gringotts just was on another level it was so good it was just, it felt like you were just stepping into the film, like that's how I wanted it to feel like and it really did. It was just magical and I remember the build up to Gringotts and like the goblins and like going round and then I just turned the corner and I gasped so loud, Um, I nearly got emotional which I don't really get emotional at stuff like that but yeah it was just incredible to like look up and see the chandeliers to see the special little effect of the dragon and oh my god it was incredible and all the photo opportunities as well like of course I had to take a selfie with one of the goblins like it just had to be done but it was absolutely breathtaking spectacular and just everything I wanted to be and it makes me want to go to um, Wizarding World in Orlando just to go on the ride because I've heard that's what it feels like walking down that set so yeah but it was absolutely breathtaking really was um so question number two which sets did you see for the first time and what were they like so the sets that I saw for the first time was Gringotts as I just mentioned and it was amazing the forest the forbidden forest now that was everything I just wish <laughs> it would have been a bit lighter because when you go and see the spiders where they're like spiders drop down spoiler alert if you don't like spiders do not worry because there is a special little path you can go down to avoid seeing them 
but they all like drop down on rope and then um, Aragog pops out as well so that was quite cool but I'm gonna say it now that section is very dark so if you're scared of the dark I'd probably avoid it <laughs> um but it's to the point where I literally got my phone out to use it as a torch because I could not see but there was like an animatronic of Bookbeak which you could bow down to which of course I had to do there was Hagrid a model of Hagrid welcoming you into the forest as you entered there were the gates for a photo and I just remember blurting out that like it, like the floor as I mentioned it felt like you were walking outside and I just loved that and I said and I just said to my friends it literally feels like we're outside even though we're inside and a random like member of the public just looked at me and went oh my god you are so right and it was just like the little things like that just make me so happy like the Harry Potter studios, especially being a big fan of Disney, the Disney parks and Imagineering as a whole, like that just made me so happy and it was a bucket list moment of mine to bow down to Bookbeak because if you do not know, Bookbeak is my favourite of the magical creatures, Prisoner of Azkaban is one of my favourite films and yeah I just, I love it so to get to bow down and it, it just looked real and cute and majestic and I was just like I love this so much I really do um there were loads more like opportunities as well so you could I can't remember this being a thing when I was there but there was like a moving broom so you had to stand over it and say up and the broom would come up into your hand and I don't remember that being there when I was there. I felt like there were a lot more photo ops this time round. Like there was, um, I think it's called forced perception or something, where in Hagrid's hut there was a table that you could sit at. So one of you sits to a side and then you all sit around a table and the person closest to the camera obviously looks really giant like Hagrid does. And then someone looks normal size and then someone looks small and I just I loved that that was really cool then the green screen opportunities in um platform nine and three quarters but that was there when I was there and I just absolutely loved it um there was the flying on a broomstick which you could do um and what was the other one and the one of the newer things was the professor scrout Sprouts, Professor Sprouts greenhouse where you could go in and it would have like all the characters and then it would have like mandrakes which you could pull up and I did a really funny video because I pulled one up and then just pulled the face like oh this is gross um so yeah it was really funny um I'm trying to think if there was anything else that was new Is there anything else that was new? Oh yeah, um, when I last went you couldn't go inside Privet Drive and this time you could, so you could go inside the house and you could see the scene from Philosopher's Stone with all like the letters all flying around and then you could see this scene from Prisoner of Azkaban with Aunt Marge who gets blown up I just thought that was really cool like and then they had like food out on the table in the kitchen which looked real like it obviously it wasn't real but it just looked so real and the thing I liked most about this event was the great hall was decorated for Halloween and they also had like the Halloween feast out and I was just trying to work out which of it was real and which wasn't and I couldn't so it was just so cool so yeah I loved the new stuff. Um, question number three, were there any sets that aren't at the studios that you would like to be added in the future? Yeah there are, so I think they should add, I feel like they could add Nocturne Alley, I just think that would be really cool 
like Borgin and Burke's Nocturne Alley. But I was also thinking they could add like maybe some of the room from some of the rooms from Hogwarts. So maybe like I don't know, um the dark arts classroom. That could be really cool. And have like little scenes from the films that are included in that set like um, the Cornish Pixies, Neville hanging from the statue like, there's loads of cool things that could just be added um, I was also thinking I'd love for them to do something to do with the Chamber of Secrets like maybe um, the actual chamber itself and you have to like speak in parcel tongue to be let in and then when you do that the door opens and how cool that would be but I'd also love to see a whole set of the Ministry of Magic because I know you've got the little section but I just feel like it should have its own set in itself not just like the little green marbled wall because I just think that'd be so cool and yeah I'd love to see that so Warner Brothers Studios tour if you're watching add them because that would be incredible if you did <laughs> um question number four did you get to interact with any of the staff members or live actors while there yes i did so because i went for my birthday i got a lot of interactions from staff which literally started as soon as i turned up because i had a birthday badge so staff wishing me happy birthday security didn't search me like when I went through the beepers I didn't beep and the security said to me as a joke it must be your lucky day because it's your birthday and I was like oh it must be and then um just loads of staff were being really friendly I had lots of chats with the staff in the shops as well which I thought was really cool one guy in one of my favorite shops just made my day and was like are you enjoying your day i see it's your birthday if you had fun and i said I've, i'm just loving it he was asking me if i'd been to the studios before and i said yes and i was loving all the new stuff so yeah they were really cool but one of the main features of the halloween dark arts festival event was that at certain points during your tour the Death Eaters would appear and you could interact with them, you could have photos with them, you could meet them and if you had a wand you could also interact with them that way so before the tour I decided to buy a wand rather than take mine from home with me so I bought a wand which I'll show in another question um, and I basically bought it just to take photos with actually going around the studio but it worked really well because every time the Death Eaters came out I think I got it on like a little clip of um, one of the Death Eaters I put my wand out and he did the same and it was just funny and then I got a photo with one of them and we were heading or well, when they appeared that's what happened and we just happened to be in the right area at the right time so we got great interaction and then we were heading into the Forbidden Forest and I heard a staff member behind me say make way for the Death Eaters I literally turned around and they were all coming so I literally had like wand interactions with all of them and it was just so so funny they were quite intimidating but I just loved that aspect I really did and I wish, again, one Warner Brothers Studio Tour London, if you are watching this video, please just add them all the year round. Like, it was such a cool interaction, such a cool addition to the tour, and it just added to the atmosphere. Like, it was so good, so definitely keep them. So, question number five. Did you have a butter beer? If you did, what did you think to it? Yes, I did have a butter beer, um, and I loved it. I really did. In my opinion, it just tasted like a cream soda, and I loved the fact they had like the um, f 
froth because you got like the moustache like they get in the films and yeah I just had to get one and I got one in a cute little tankard souvenir cup which I will show you when it comes to that but yeah it was great. Question number six how did you rate the day out of ten? Easy 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 the best day ever like it's it's not that expensive. The merch can be expensive, yes. The food can be expensive. But you know what? It's such a good day out, especially if you're a Harry Potter fan. And I will say this now. If you are staying in Watford, if you go to Watford Junction Station and just outside of there where the buses are, you can get a free shuttle bus with your like entry ticket show that and then you get a free like 10 minute journey to the studios it literally drops you off outside then when you're done at the studios go to where it dropped you off and you can just be taken back to Watford Junction Station we did that and I just thought it was such a cool addition like it was brilliant so yeah big thumbs up for transport question number seven did they change anything around Hagrid to honour his, re his recent passing? But yeah, they did, which I thought was just lovely. Like, at Hagrid's hut they had a plaque which had a quote from him and, like, the date, so, like, when he was born to 2022, which I thought was really cute and lovely. And then at, I think it was... The Forbidden Forest, where they had the Hagrid statue, they also had the little little memo, which I just thought was really beautiful, and yeah, I loved it. Question number eight, what was your favourite set or prop? I've already said that um, my favourite set is definitely Gringotts, like, definitely. But my favourite prop, I think... My favourite prop? Oh, I don't know. I think my favourite prop has got to be... Ah, this is so hard! Um, I don't know. I honestly don't think I can choose because there's so many good ones. But like... I think I'm gonna say the sword of Gryffindor because I had a really cool photo with that so yeah yeah I'm gonna say that so question number nine I might have to get something up because I want to be able to remember it yeah so question number nine did you learn anything new about the Harry Potter films that you didn't know before going yes I did I know, something I didn't know about the films, which I now know, which blows my mind, I know. But, like, because it was set for Halloween, the Great Hall, they had the four Hogwarts houses ghosts costumes on display, which I thought was really cool and a real great addition. And we learnt that one of the ghosts, who is Slytherin's ghost, the Bloody Baron, actually murdered Helena Ravenclaw which is obviously the ghost of Ravenclaw so I'm gonna read what I found online so she sent she sent a man who had long loved me though I spurned his advances to find me she knew that he would not rest until he had done so Helena told Harry the hot-headed baron tracked her down but when Helena refused to return with him he murdered her in a rage. Overcome with remorse, he turned the blade on himself. And I just thought that was really cool. And yeah, it was just such a cool fact that now I just tell everyone. So yeah, it's, it's a great fact. So question number 10. Again, I'm going to need my phone for this to get my photos up. So question number 10. Did you take any memorable photographs at the studios? Yes, I did. 
So, I'm going to do like a top five photos. So, I'm going to choose, obviously, because I spoke about it earlier, this one. I don't know how well this is going to show up. Ah, perfect. So this is a photo of me holding, let me turn the brightness down a minute, so you'll be able to see it a bit clearer. That's better. Holding the Sword of Gryffindor with the Horcrux on the top. So that is from Deathly Hallows Part 2, when Hermione, Justice Bellatrix, Ron, Harry, Griphook all turn up at Bellatrix's vault to get the Horcrux and destroy it. So that's a fun fact. Um, this is one of my favourite photos I took from the day. So this is a photo of the wand I bought in front of the Ollivander shop window. I just thought that's a cool photo to take and yeah, I took it. Um, so... I'm going to choose, ah, I'm going to choose this photo as the next one. So this is the photo that I was talking about from the Fourth Perception photo opportunity. So this is me and my friends. So my friend here, Rebecca, she was the tallest person, so she was made to look like the giant. I'm the normal sized person and then my friend Chloe at the back because she's furthest away from the camera is the smallest so I just thought that was really cool and then my top favourite photos is gonna I'm gonna have to choose this one so this one I took outside after the tour had finished and as we were making our way to the buses and it's this because I'd bought Sirius Black's wand, I decided to take a photo in front of Sirius Black photo, me and the wand. And I just thought it was such a good photo and I was very happy with it. And then my favourite photo of all has got to be in front of the epic model of Hogwarts at the very end of the tour. And that's now my lock screen on my phone and I just absolutely adore it. So yeah, they're like my favourite photos from the tour. So, question number 11, is it worth the money? Yes, 100%. I think the biggest tip I will give, take your time because you don't have a time limit like you could get the earliest tour and you could stay all day till close if you wanted to like you don't have a time limit the only place you really have a time limit is the cinema and the great hall because they have to move you on to let the next group in so just take your time and tickets for adults are 49.95 not sure how much they are for children or concessions disabled elderly but it's such a good price for staying all day the merch isn't that bad either so definitely check it out and definitely go if you're a harry potter fan so question number 12 what merchandise did you buy while you were there so the first thing I'll show you that I bought is this and it's my butterbeer tankard that I got filled with butterbeer and that cost me $6.95 I think which for a, a plastic cup that you can keep and a drink that was literally so nice is not a bad price at all so yeah definitely worth every single penny. Um, and I also picked up this, which is one of my favourite moments in the films. It's Luna Lovegood, my favourite character, with the lion head because she was supporting Gryffindor in Quidditch. And it's just a postcard, but I liked the photo, so thought I'd get it. And this only cost me a pound, so can't really go wrong, can you? Um, and then, obviously... One of the purchases I had to make was I obviously had to buy a wand. Now, 
I had a few ideas of whose wand I wanted to get, but when I was looking at the photos, no, the actual wands themselves in the shop, I love the dear look of Luna's and I've always wanted Luna's, so next time I go I'll get hers, but Slug Horns was on my list, but when I felt it and saw it, it just felt really fragile. And the woman said, if you're afraid of getting a wand that breaks, do not get Slug Horns because it's so easily broken. And my dad is someone who would break stuff, so I was like, I can't get it. And then I saw this wand. So I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera. Oh, actually, it does show up quite well. Um, and the markings on it, I thought were really cool. And I said to the woman, because the, the sign wasn't there for whose wand it was, I said to her, whose wand is this? And she said, if I said to you that the markings on it were from Azkaban, do you have a clue? And I was like, Sirius Black? And she said, yes, it's Sirius Black's wand. And that blew me away because he's one of my favourite characters. I love Gary Oldman, I love Sirius Black, so I was like, I've got to get it. So I bought it and this wand was one of the best purchases. But definitely my favourite purchase from the day, I wasn't expecting to spend this much, but I just saw it. I gasped when I saw the front of it and it said spirit jersey but when I saw the back I immediately took it to the till and paid for it because I knew I had to get it and I just said it's a spirit jersey. I had planned on getting the Hufflepuff spirit jersey. Unfortunately they didn't have it in stock. I did see another spirit jersey but I thought it was boring and then I stumbled across this beauty like how cute is that? So it's got the Hogwarts emblem on the front. It's blue with like little silver sparkly bits and then the back. Hogwarts is my home with a lovely picture of Hogwarts. Like I was obsessed and I just thought I need it. It did cost me £60 but you know what? That's how much my other spirit jerseys have cost me, so yeah, I just had to get it. So definitely had to pick it up, buy it. What were the shops like? The shops were great. Um I would suggest to avoid queuing, definitely go at the start of the tour. If and if you know there's something you want to get and you're worried about it selling out, get it before the tour. And it was so quiet, I didn't have to queue, I literally went all around the queue, got to the front. And I discovered my new favourite shop, which is the shop in between the exit of Forbidden Forest and where you go to Platform 9 and 3 quarters. And it was the Christmas shop and there was so many cute stuff, there was a lovely lounge fly. And it was just stunning and I really loved that shop, so... That was a brilliant shop for me. Question number 14. Would you go again? Yes. <laughs> I mean, me and one of my friends are going to London next year in March to see Darren Brown Showman again. I know, I'm crazy. Um, and we're thinking of staying in Watford. So I said to her, why don't we go to Harry Potter Studios for like go up to London on the day before the show and go to the studios and she was like we could so yeah potentially might be going back and this time I promise I will vlog because I just I didn't really want to vlog so yeah I promise this time I will and last but not least question number 15 what was the highlight of the whole tour in your opinion so <laughs> The highlight for me was getting to open the Great Hall doors. So if you go and it's your birthday or you're celebrating a special occasion, definitely open the doors when they ask because I've been lucky enough now to do it twice and you get to be the very first people to walk through the doors and see it decorated for Halloween if you go 
to the Halloween season that is and it was just stunning so highly highly recommend doing it and going and yeah but anyway guys that was the last question on my Q&A review of Harry Potter Studios if you enjoyed the video please do not forget to like comment and subscribe turn on the bell and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video now next week's video is very exciting because the vamps have got a new song out so I will be doing a reaction so stay tuned for that but for now everyone thank you so much for watching this is Redhead Boo signing off bye